Okay, so hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Now it's facing this huge ramp, which is ramping over those cars. Wait a second, now you see it clearer, those cars over there. As you see this big one, those big tires, they're really freaky looking. And so here's me, sound very tired and grumpy. Because it's like, I don't know, past 10 o'clock. Might not seem much to you guys who sleep very late but yeah and so that's why i'm in my pyjamas nice pyjamas though they have this like nice little logo kind of thing really cool and so let me show you how to build this thing let me go get the car itself it's lego so start off with the engine the, it's pullback though surprisingly it's pullback but it's really fast doesn't lose any power did you see, I only like push it this much. Look how quick it goes. It will ramp up that. I don't know. I'm not sure. This is like a trial and error video. Now I'll just show you how quickly how to build it. So have four big tires. But with the same insides for all of them. That's the other. That's the inside. That's the outside of the insides, which is very weird. So you use one black axle for there, another black axle there. You can do whatever you like, but black is most suggested because it's most common and it has the right size. So whatever's good for you here, the pullback mode is there, and you can attach some nice, uh, what is it called, some, whatever they're called, Lego Technique pieces over here. Put this T shape kind of thing, and that's where you attach the bottom. And so when you put it down on the ground, it's like this. And it has like a nice tilting up shape for kind of rampage um, air physics or aerodynamics and all that stuff. But that's not really going to help too, too much. But it's just better for the car to go higher and also to go faster. And so that's how you build the... Actually, no. Wait one second. What is wrong with this? Sorry, guys. Um, so it has these. They hold it together. Those on that wheel, it's separately individual. And it has those on the inside. Here, it broke the last time I did a challenge. This. I dropped this from Seven Story Building, which is actually our building. We live in the third story flat, I think. And I'm going to drop this. And it broke. So over here... We have this huge ramp. It might not look huge to you because the camera may seem very low, but it's actually uh, two meters high. The camera is actually two meters high. And so it's actually very big. And there's cars behind. We have a weight over there, which I don't know what it's used for. This mirror over here in case something bad happens and the, cam and the camera turns. So we have nice mirror just in case. Ramp up here. As you can see, big tyres. It's a really cool car. I might post some videos on YouTube of it also. Uh, old bus pullback. This is remote. This is remote. Pullback again. That's remote. So we definitely have a lot of more control cars. But pullback too. Okay, so let's get this thing going. So because they have big wheels, we have to load it quite a lot. Okay. Two cracks is enough. Maybe one crack and just to be safe. Uh, let's see how far this goes. Oh my, Ooh, it fell. That's not a good sign. Now you can see the total uncovery of that magnificent car. Bad idea. Maybe higher would work because that puffs easily. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, let me, let me do this quick. It has a lot of suspension, that car. So it's good for adjusting these ramps. Let's take that out of the scene for a bit. Here it is. Okay, seems pretty hard. Suspension. Remember, it's two meters high, so these are quite big 
this looks really speedy this one it's deserty you can't really see it because of this i'm pretty sure yeah actually you can i mean it says desert on it oh my goodness gracious will this even work though okay it's a little unstable quick let's back let's get back to it no wait the car's there it up all the way over there. Let me put the axles adjusted. That song is just stuck in my head. Oh, dang it. Let me try that again. Because I, I haven't tried it. I maybe. I think it definitely can be better. And it's really hard but for this big ramp i don't know i mean it's kind of hard hard for me to hit the lock kind of thing actually what if i improve it by doing this oh yes that would work so nicely um one second guys one second i'm so sorry Oh, this is taking a long time. What is there? What do we have? What is heavy? Oh, that's attached. Oh my goodness gracious. Guys, you can fast forward this part. Please fast forward this. Maybe this will work. Put it through the stand. There. That works, I think. Yeah, that's good. Because you see when it comes like that, it goes right up. But I think it'll kind of ramp ramp kind of thing. So that's why I put them more here instead of closer. Let's put that wire out of the way. Let's get this thing rolling. So we have to... We have... It's really not a limited space you can do on for this ramp. Oh my goodness. It went up way too quick though. Let me try this again. Just with more space. That's my school backpack. That's my test 11 plus test backpack. I have a lot of backpacks. I've never really realized. Oh, but it keeps turning and hitting me. I think it's because the weight is heavier than that. So, yeah. Bye bye. See you for the next video. I'm going to use that hairdryer to float a ping pong ball. It's very easy, but trust me, this will definitely work. Now I'm just going to go review it, maybe add some effects, because I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe no effects, actually, maybe no effects. It's just for fancy videos, so. Bye, guys. Crazy little guy, isn't it?